the best about the, you know, you, you want to keep the data source as close to the data as possible, right? So they have created knowledge in the, uh, so it's called the uh, Nibara E, you know, the and the that they use. So these are all, you know, uh, as the, you know, the uh, technology is evolving, that people are finding better ways of choosing. You mean to say you introduce only hetero integrations? Yeah, it's right now it is hetero yeah, but then why are they not comparing that with the deep part? No, the, the, because this was this was the this was the way originally the industry started with the deep part. <coughs> whether we ever had the electrical sensors. Yeah. See, for example, the you know uh, <coughs> some all the optical sources and mostly the short distance or receiver sound. No, the laser drivers, for example, and then the, even the, the mass and other things are still a hydro integration. Uh, you, 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 yeah, it, it is still hydro integration, but you can, you, you know, some of the modulators that the uh, uh, signal is into optics, the uh, in my uh, circuits are faster than the mass today, but it's, uh, it's not much better. So even today commercially you still say that it's hetero integration. Yeah. Right. We are not at the laser on solid. That is it must be a, it's not a commercially, I would say it's not a commercially viable uh, option. As of now, we go we already have two chips. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, you, you can, people have demonstrated it, but how so finally the cost decides everything. Yeah, like, so how uh, how cost effective is that and then if you can do it a different way, even with the but cheaper, with the, even though it is not, you know, but if we, we, because I mean, the, the industry uh, will not embrace anything for the sake of technology, you know, it has to be at the, at the end of the day, they have to be so, so this is uh, this is the comparison between the uh, conventional uh, three pi and the the parameter. Now let's look at what are the some of the basic uh, uh, components in the circuit parameter platform. So the first one, probably the most important one, is what's called the max center uh, in the parameter the modulator. I will in the next slide I will explain what why we need this modulator. Uh, uh, so, but for now, let us uh, say that the basic uh, function is to convert the electrical signal to the sound. That's the function of the model. Now, for the receive side, you have to do the opposite. You have to take the optical signal and convert it to the electrical signal. Uh, correct. So, you we have a high bandwidth uh, intermediate for it. So, it converts the uh, signal to the optical signal. Right. And then there are some uh, multiplexers and uh, demultiplexers and then the real guides and so on. But we also have a whole uh, suite of these components which have been characterized, and then we have what is called a you know, process design so that we can use these uh, uh, you know, components and then co simulate that with the electrical, uh, the electrical circuits so that we, because we want to make sure that you know the final performance is, is, uh, is met. So later on, I'll show you an example of how well the uh, our uh, simulation <coughs> experiment. So, so in this uh, this day, uh, as a side note, um, this the MCI modulator uh, that I'm mentioning here, that is really the crown jewel of uh, uh, the system source uh, platform. So the history is that in, in 2012. Um, Cisco went and bought a startup called the Lightfy. And uh, so that uh, they had this uh, modulator, which is which even today has the best uh, figure of merit. I'll, I'll again, you know, in the next uh, couple of slides, I'll tell what the, how the figure of merit is, it's measured, and then why they bought it. And uh, so that, that's the crown jewel that we have. So now, why do we need a modulator? So, in, when the first optical communication started, the laser itself was turned on and off at, at this place, you know, whatever frequency that uh, is, right, like 10 gigabit, uh, 1 gigabit frequency. So the laser would be on and you know, to turn. Even now, it is not, it's not that it's not gone. Some of the pixels are still being turned, you know, directly being given. But what 
So what can you know what we done is now and what people found is that it will be faster if you don't have to turn the laser on and off. You keep the laser on continuously. So the laser that is coming in here. And then you split that, you just be close you know, this branch right now. You you know you split that into two branches, and then you apply different phase shift to the light. Okay, so you go and basically change the model, you know, velocity of light or the refractive index of the material by changing the refractive index of the material going through. And then when you combine the volumes uh, back here, now depending on whether it's constructive interference or destructive interference, you get a zero or a one. So, so that is basically essentially what the modulator is. And then when you are having a modulator like this, now you can you can uh, uh, you know if it's only two levels, you can have only one segment here. 